Richard and Sal call this guy. This is a guy who uh, talks Yankees. That's his public access show. Right. This guy was actually on our show. Oh yeah. Because I think he. Came, I think this is the guy who came in and said he had like the longest penis or something. He was on one of our I've Got a Secret things. Really. Is this the guy from I've Got a Secret who had like a 13 inch penis? Yeah, we're going to replay it on the Friday show actually. Oh good. But, All right. Uh, yeah, he came in. And it, it was. It wasn't difficult for you to guess because he was wearing bike shorts and really like showing it off. <laughs> right. Uh, but he has a public access show, and I guess he doesn't want anyone bringing up the fact that he has the world's longest penis. Not in this venue. Not in this Yankees venue, but uh, <laughs> Richard and Sal won't let him forget. You're on the air. How you doing, John? I'm fine. What's up? Hey, I heard you got a pretty big packer. Oh, please. Forget that. Bye-bye. Okay, now, um, you're on the air. Hey, man. How you doing? I'm fine. What's up? I've been trying to get through all that, man. Pretty busy show. Yeah. Well, you wouldn't believe the kind of callers you try to call in. Uh, just don't ignore those idiots, man. Okay, so what's up? Uh, you ever come in your own mouth? Uh, oh. So, until you can call in about the Yankees, I just need real callers. You're on the air. Hi, I want to talk about the Red Sox. Uh, sure, what about them? Do you think anybody on that team has a penis? Yeah. Uh, no, but I bet no one's like a dickhead like you. Um, oh. you know, it's, it's just a waste of time, okay? Stop it! Stop it! I want real cars! No more calls. That's it. I won't have this shit. And, you know what? I can do this show whether you want me or not. So, um... Uh, that's just brilliant. Okay. Uh, so call in. Let's see what you got out there. You're on the air from Florida. What's up? Hey, what's going on there, man? Okay, what's up? What do you, you want to talk about? Oh, how you doing today, man? These Mondays are rough. Oh, God, you think I'm not stupid? <laughs> I have a long memory than that. I know that number, and you're not calling ever again. Uh, you know, I'm going to call these people after the show <laughs> and tell them if they want me to fuck them, I will fuck them hard, and I'll use a baseball bat. <laughs> wow. Yeah, phones are ringing off the hook. I just wish there was a real caller out there. Do I want to give it a chat with a private caller? Why not? You're on the air. Yeah, I got a comment on Johnny Damon. Yeah, what about him? How big is your cock? It's pretty. Oh, God, oh. stop calling me. <laughs> yeah, some people don't get a don't get a uh, a clue. If you want to call in, one, you can't be anonymous, and two, it, you can't be on my shit list. Hopefully, people will stop being bored with uh, start being bored with making crank calls because I really want to talk about the Yankees, and we're coming to a point at which um, the games are getting really big. You're on the air. I really enjoying your show. Hey, right, cool. What's up? I want to talk about the Orioles, actually. Uh, why? Well, well, actually, hold on one second. I'm fucking a catcher's myth right now. Uh, <laughs> oh, God, I don't care. It goes on and on. Yeah, I shouldn't be letting it get to me like this. But, you know, these people are just, you know, they have nothing to do for the next hour. I just want real exactly. calls. <laughs> oh, now you figure And they're that. the only ones watching. Oh, it's just so wild. Those people are actually at work, sir. <laughs> Working. Yeah. You want the Yankee call? Yeah, yeah, that was All right. funny. All right, hold on. <laughs> this is good. Let me just set it up a little bit. The guy with the 13 and a half inch schlong. That's yeah. a little disconcerting. This kid has a uh, show on public access. How old is he? I don't know. He's probably in his 30s. Robin, would you do him with a dick that big? No, that sounds frightening. This guy, he has a uh, show on public access, and the show is about the Yankees. All he does is want to talk about the Yankees. Oh, my God. Now, oh, there's his cock. Oh, yeah. my God. All he wants to do is talk Lord about... Lord, help us all. <laughs> yeah. Is he black? No, he's no. a white guy. But his he, dick looks black. All he, wants to do, all he wants to do is talk about the Yankees and Richard and Sal. Why do we have that picture? I don't know. Richard and Sal call him so much during the show that he, six months ago, said, I'm putting a ban on all calls. So for six months on his public access show, he wouldn't take any phone calls. Right. He waits the six months. He comes back on. Who's right there? Sal and Richard. They're the only two callers. That was the first, the first night back, Howard? First night, bam. And those guys watch every single time he's on, waiting for him to come back on. It must have been so disheartening to yeah. him, you know, to have waited six months in his first call. Yeah. Those guys are genius, Howard. Genius. Call in. Uh, let me know what you think. Or else we're just going to be sitting here for a long time doing nothing. Okay, we have a call on line one. You're on the air. Hi, how you doing today? I'm fine. I want to talk about Mariana Rivera. Go ahead. Can I see your penis? 
Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, so um, we need to have uh, <laughs> real people calling in. Uh, so um, not, things are not going well right now. Uh, ah, you have a call. Hi, you're on the air. Hey. Yes. You're on the air. You're on the air, yes. Right. Hello? There's Sal. Okay. Checking in. Uh, now back to Richard. Call in. I want to hear from you. Let's uh, try this number. Ah, you're on the air. How about a rod last week? How about who? How like, about your penis? Shut up. Okay. <laughs> so, they're on the shit list. Hi, you're on the air. Yeah, I'm sorry we got disconnected. Okay, what's up? You're on the air. Oh, fuck you. You know what? You're now on the shit list just like this other asshole here. Uh-oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> Ugh. Now it's Richard's Once turn. you're on the shit list, you're on the shit list. <laughs> Hello from Long Island. What's up? Hey, how you doing? I'm fine. Am I on the air? Okay. Uh, that wasn't even Sal and Richard. That was like... <laughs> Somebody so you, got a whole not, team, huh? you never will be. You're on the air. Big, big fan. I have a question about Joe Torrey's management. All right, so that's Jason. But Sal and Sal, Richard now, because it's his turn, is standing right by. And as soon as Jason asks his question, Richard gets back on. Uh, okay. the, the Yankees have been playing horrible defense recently. They just went from Florida to New York, and it was like a drop of 50 degrees. And I'm going to tell you something. You can't grab a ball when it's that cold. You know, it was the weather. Well, not for that shit. Let's say some of that nerd cock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, Let's boy. See. Hello, you're on the air. You're on the air. Let's uh, mark down your number and shit list. You're on the air. Hi, Jonah. How are you doing today? I'm fine. First off, I'm I'm sorry. I'm kind of nervous. I've never really called into a TV show before. Okay, just after. just. What you... Yeah. Now here's Sal, here's Richard as nervous Mark, his new character, where he just gets nervous. What do you think tonight's score is going to be? I th I think tonight with tonight's matchup. Pano versus um, Hanson. Uh, I th I think. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, you know us. what? Uh, he just joined the shit list. That was rude. Hey. It's fun to do that. <laughs> it's fun to hang up on people. <laughs> I'd like some real calls. And I'd like them now. You're on the air. Oh, yeah. How you doing? You're on the air. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> silence. I guess my call screening has uh, got rid of some of the trolls. <laughs> You're on the air from Washington. Uh, yeah, get lost. These guys from Howard Stern are just spoofing <laughs> their phone numbers. You're on the air. Hey, how you doing? Uh, what did you think of, uh, you're on the air? Yeah. Suck a dick, you faggot. <laughs> I'm really having problems here. Uh, so anyways, I have like 12 numbers right now that are being uh, banned. Oh, uh, my aching head. Okay, you know what? Um, <clears throat> rather than enduring this any further, um, I'm going to be cutting the show short. I would like to have uh, had a better interplay between me and my public. Interplay. This has been Yankee Talk. You're on the air. Uh... <laughs> right to music. <laughs> Cut the I love how he said, I think I've uh, got rid of some of the trolls. Yeah. <laughs> I love the the stockbroker friend the Zal's was he had that real sort of New Yorky like yeah. faggot rolled right off his tongue. I like the fact that uh, the guy cut the show short. You just can't cut a show short. Why not? It's public access. Uh, come on, there's a schedule. What about just the sponsor? He's got a job to do, right, Howard? Oh, oh, I gotta play you this too. Richard and Sal called that guy. I don't know how much people listen to our show and how aware they are of that guy that they hassle on public access. There's this one guy who does a Yankees show. Oh, the Yankees guy. And he invites phone calls, and the only phone callers are Richard and Sal. <laughs> and, you know, we play his calls. We play his show all the time when Richard and Sal call in. And then for about six months, he wouldn't take any phone calls. And now he's back to taking phone calls. And again, this was, I think, last night. Richard and Sal called in again last night. And it's just, <laughs> and the kid makes one reference to Pokemon, and they just bust his balls about Pokemon for the rest of the night. Crap. Uh, <clears throat> these two schmucks don't know when to quit. 
This is typical bullshit. Oh, wait. i got to wait. Oh, wait. I'm in the middle of it. That's oh, why. you didn't start at the beginning. No, no. Here he is. He's talking about... And he goes, I'm about to go to the phones, you know, and I don't want any nonsense, you know, that whole thing. Yeah. I didn't do much uh, research today, and don't make me just have to go play Pokemon, because I will, as a protest. Kidding. I'm not going to play Pokemon now. I'm going to play it right after the show. He He's threatening the audience that he'll go play Pokemon <laughs> if uh, <laughs> Pokemon... I love the, how condescending this guy is. Like, yeah, yeah. He's, he's saving the world with this show, and yeah. someone's interrupting him. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I'm going to try a call. Let's see if this person is normal. <laughs> You're on the air. I had a Pokemon question. You were talking to this. Uh, no. Um, You're on the air. Yeah, I wanted to talk about A-Rod last week. Go ahead. Uh, what do you think his Pokemon story is? See, Did now, um, I'm going to keep this person on. This is the sort of person uh, that, att uh, that that's attracted to, um, you know, Howard Stern and Don Imus. You know, the kind of uh, lowest common denier. I mean, this guy denied. has Fruit Loops for brains. Good talk. Yeah. If I don't get some sincere calls, you know, I'll just turn off the TV show and <laughs> let it blank. Oh. Yeah, it just really gets my goat. I'm sorry. I'm just dealing with a... Uh, with callers right now who are not real callers. Most he common denier. He thinks he's like American Idol and he has a huge audience and people will start to bum out. Or yeah, something. why are people sabotaging this great show? Yeah. What's an intelligent question, brother? What do we, what do we have there? I really wish I had a call screen. I'll tell you what. Oh, boy, oh, boy. You're on the air. Hello, how you doing, John? I'm fine. Who is this? This is Jeff. I was at the game. Which game? Um, I was at the game yesterday. I want to talk about. I was actually in the stands playing Pokemon uh, on the third yeah. base line. Um. So anyway, <laughs> if you can't talk about the Yankees, I don't want to hear you. So let me talk to this caller. Don't you ever give up? <clears throat> don't you have a life? Do it. Hi. Do it. Hi. Squirtle's my favorite. My favorite. Pokemon character. <laughs> I like Squirtle. Yeah, we're all drunk. <laughs> hey, piss over the forty, man. Yeah. <laughs> You're on the air. You're I actually want to talk to you about the Yankees. The thing that's pissing me off about the Yankees, you got people like A-Rod. And listen, A-Rod's doing a great thing, but yeah. he's doing it when it doesn't matter. To be wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. When it doesn't matter? Yeah. It's <laughs> the beginning of the season, Jonah. <coughs> oh, are you so so this is great. He finally gets a legitimate call, but it's not a legitimate call to us. Uh -huh. But he finally got, he cuts the guy off, and he starts coughing. And cr <laughs> like, like he can't even control it. Well, the guy asked a good question. He should have let the guy roll. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's finally an intelligent question. Hang the winds in April don't count. <coughs> well, <coughs> Were you serious about looking for a call screener? Because I'm interested <coughs> for uh, some work as a call screener. <laughs> well, it's not paying work if you're interested in no, that. No, you don't have to pay me. All you got to do is pay me in cock. Can you pay me in cock? <laughs> So it was half a good call. Um, <coughs> damn. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> uh, sore throat, man. You know, it's, oh, boy. <coughs> Actually, you know what? I'm probably going <coughs> to do a real... <coughs> 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 this is what happens when I get hyperactive. <coughs> and I just get angry. How can I help you? Are you choking on cum? Um, what? <laughs> I can't hear you. Hello? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> these two schmucks don't know when to quit. It's typical bullshit, you know? It's just a pity because this show will not die. It'll keep on going for as long as I want it to. Great. Are you choking on cum? <laughs> <laughs> He just bust his balls. All right. This is the lowest common denier. Um, denier. <laughs> I mean, talk about a lack of professionalism. The guy's got like a tuberculosis cough into the mic every two seconds. I think we were going to have the talking Yankees guy with the huge penis do jumping jacks, too, for George. Yeah. yeah I feel, it. So I, you got the phone call? Yeah, it's GP1 and White. So nobody's heard this, not even Gary. Uh, no. All right. All right, this is the kid who's going, the, the kid with the big cock who does the Yankees show, who, who, who stopped taking phone calls for two years on his public access show because these guys were ruining it. <laughs> Another one's on the show. Were, were, were you like the first callers? <laughs> yeah. I hope so. Man, That's so, so funny. You guys are always ready. <laughs> Let me see if I can get a little bit of better set. There we go. This is Jonah Falcon. This is Talking Yankees, and this is... Uh, I got a call on the line. Let's uh, start taking him. Hi, you're on the air. 
Yeah, hi, I'd like to talk to Jonah about Xavier Nady. Go ahead. Yeah, can I talk to Jonah? Yeah, go ahead. Yes, yeah, Screener put me to Jonah. I want to talk about the grant. Okay, sorry. <laughs> hey, you're on the air. Go ahead. Yeah, hi, I'd like to speak to Jonah, please. Uh, not you. Nah. Uh, oh, wrong. <laughs> hi, you're on the air. Yeah, how can I talk to Jonah? Who should I say? Um, yeah, go ahead. But can you put me through to Jonah because I had a talk to him in charge? Uh, you know, um, these prank calls aren't going to work today. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have the same people trying to call in. They're not going to get in. Hi, you're on the air. I just called for Jonah and the screener hung up on me. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Okay, can I speak to him, please? Go ahead. I'm waiting for you to connect me, stupid. i like to speak to Jonah, idiot. <laughs> uh, hi, you're on the air. Hi, I want to talk to Jonah. Uh, uh, no, you, you uh, today. yes. Jonah, please. Fuck off. <laughs> wow. Fuck off. That's the best Yankee talk I've ever heard. A lot of Yankee talk. <laughs> well, that's a good one. You know the guy who does the Yankees uh, talk? He has a public access show and all he wants to do is talk about oh, the Yankees. Oh, that guy, yeah. So they just call him all day and they just you know, they put their phone near their TV set and give feedback. <laughs> they just torture this guy. And this poor guy. I mean, this guy. I'm starting to feel Does he him. ever do a show where they don't call? Oh, he, no, every show they call. <laughs> It is really hot in here. Um, Plus, it's public access, and he's sweating. They don't have air conditioning. They don't have air conditioning, nothing, you know. Nothing works. No. Oh, fuck. I just erased. Hey, Gary, what page is that on, please? i got to bring it back up. I hit pause, and then I hit erase. I hate this system. Uh, GP1 and white. All right. Thank you. Oh, it is really hot in here. Um... Uh, I'd like to hear from you. Oh, we have a caller. You're on the air. Yeah. Uh, turn on your TV. Uh, <laughs> turn off your TV when you call. Or turn off the sound. You're on the air. I'd like to order pizza. What? Hello? Mm, okay. So, um, the air conditioner is broken and it is hotter than it is outside. Turn off your t uh, TV sound when you call in. As a matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to put on my sunglasses. <laughs> God, it's too hot for glasses even, either. You're on the air. <laughs> uh, I'd like to hear from you out there. I'd also like to stop sweating. Phew. Um, <laughs> and I see Sal Gouvernel is online, too. Uh, I'm not interested in picking up. Hi, Sal. What's up? Meatball, parmesan, lasagna, side of garlic, nuts. Uh, uh, Sal, Sal, please. Um, okay, um, I'm going to give out Sal Gouvernail's number if he calls in again. It starts set f And if you want me to complete the number, don't call in. I mean, don't call in if you don't want me to complete that number. Because I will call back. Oh, God. As the closing credits... This has not been a fun show. Um, uh, <laughs> there's not even a fan in here. And this thing is not working, and I don't know why. Um, <laughs> anyway, that's it for the show, I suppose. Uh, uh, one last call. Hi, you're on the air. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, that's it. No more. Uh, just made the shit list. <laughs> That's my favorite one. Uh, he just joined the shit list. <laughs> You're on the air. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. Uh, what do you think about this heat that's been going on lately? The what? It's been pretty hot out there. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, we were supposed to get a thunderstorm over the weekend. We didn't get it. Yeah. I don't know where it's supposed to cool off. You know, I don't know either. Anyway, thanks for calling. <laughs> I'm having a ton of technical troubles today. Huh, that's odd. Uh, uh, nope, that's feedback. Uh. I love the technical aspect of these uh, shows. They're great. God, no, that's not going to work either. Oh, well, for crying out loud. Well, okay, we have a kind. Uh, you're on the air. Hey, how's it going? Okay, uh, what do you want to talk about now? Hot enough out there, Freddy. When's it gonna cool down? Oh. Yeah, we're, this is not the Weather Channel. 
Uh, let's see if I get some real calls. You're on the air. Hey, how are you, man? I'm fine. I'll, I'll tell you one thing, man. Good show. I'll never forget the first time I was at my uh, a Yankee game. Yeah. It was a long time ago. I went with my father, and uh, I sucked his cock, and it was fantastic. It was really great. I'm pretty sure you loved it. I, I'm pretty sure you really loved it. I mean, you must have slurped it up all the... You know what? I think we just had a bun cake call. Uh, certain people will get that reference. I, I don't know what's going on with the... Uh, there it goes. You're on the air. Drop your pants, sailor. Up. You know, why would you... Uh, that has to be the stupidest... Uh, you're on the air. We're only going to get some rain this place. Okay. Um, you know, I really hate this... Um, this, uh, what's it called? I wish the speakerphone was working. You're on the air. Yeah, have you ever had a whipple ball patch come up your ass? Uh, I don't like uh, listening to other people's fantasies anyway. You're on the air. Yeah, I got a question about Baltimore. Yeah, go ahead. You think they're going to get rain down there anytime soon? I mean, yeah, I wonder if this person knows that he really sounds stupid. It's not me. Uh, let's get a call. Hello, you're on the air. Pretty cloudy. Um, it is now 11:23, August 7th. I think we should mark the time and the date that we found out who the stupidest person on earth is. You're on the air. Hi. The great thing about ball is shoving them up your ass while licking a man's asshole. I. You know, I really don't wouldn't know this. You're on the air. You're a damn humor Oh well, I'm tired of. Uh, this isn't the Weather Channel. That's on Channel what, 56. You're on the air. What about that barometric pressure, man? It was pretty high this morning. Uh, shut up. Okay. Let's see what they have to call. You're on the air. Hey, what's up, bro? Yeah, what's up? Man, you're a fucking nerdy cracker. What the fuck? Is... You know, there's nothing sadder than a white guy pretending to be black to call someone else a cracker. You're on the air. Hey, cracker, I'm a bitch. He's a oh, brother. I have no idea what some of these people are talking about. Ugh. You're on the air. You fucking pussy. I'm going to lick your balls and sniff your asshole. Some people have weird fantasies. You know what? If there's anybody there with time in their hands who wants to be a call screener, I can't pay you, but I don't know. Maybe you can be on the air a couple of times. You're on the air. Yeah, I don't know. Red Sox fan. Okay, cool, cool. What's up? I was wondering, uh, how's that heat down there in New York? It's been pretty cool. Uh, Stop it. It's not working. Uh, it ain't working. Yes, it is. It's driving me nuts. Exactly. Sal and Richard were driving um, this public uh, access show crazy again. It's very funny. Uh, this is called Talking Yankees. Oh, yeah. oh, I love that show with Man. Sal and Richard. <laughs> yeah, this guy gets just so upset with them, and they just call in every minute, and they're like the only two guys calling, and it just gets the guy all bummed out. Check it out. I would like to hear what people have to say about Mariana Rivera, Derek Jeter, David Ortiz. I think I will take a caller. You're on the air. Hey, what's up, Jonah? I'm fine. What's up? Hey, congrats on getting your show at four. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the guy moved his show to four o'clock so he wouldn't get any of these He's funny phone calls. He's running from them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I was starting to get a little tired of staying up until 2 o'clock on show nights. <laughs> I sure don't blame you. I'm a little tired today. I was up late, late last night, man. I, I found worms in my stool. And... Uh, you know. <laughs> You're on the air. Hey. Turn down the volume, please. I am sick and tired of these idiots calling. you got a great show. It's very informative. Love the Yankees. Love what you're doing, man. Thank you. Uh, so and you I wanted to say, um, what, one of my favorite parts of your show is when you talk about the weather. So, yeah, well, you know, <clears throat> one of my favorite shows, uh, parts of the show, is when people actually treat it seriously. So, I, <laughs> that part sucks. These people have to get a life. So, <laughs> no, that's not. They're on the air. Fucking worms! I eat my ass. So, um, yeah, uh, there's going to be a ban on wireless callers from now on, so if you have a wireless, you're fucked. Oh, give me a break. Get off my show. I'm not that stupid. As a matter of fact, I have your number, and I might call you later. Uh -oh. Anyways, um, Good. Yeah, the, you know, I know who these people are, too. <laughs> I know their number, and now I know where they live. So stop calling, uh -oh. or I may pay you a visit. I don't know what Whoa. kind of... <laughs> 
time people have to uh, call in and, and have prank calls. You're on the air. Yeah, we're poking my poop. You know, Robert, should I say your full name on the air and then give the phone number so people can call you? Robert. I think it's just Robert. Robert. Don't test me. Meanwhile, it's Richard and Sal. You might if he goes over to a guy that I'm here. That beats me. Ring one of the south. So I only have two people calling in. Uh, and uh, this makes exactly. not many people know the time, the new time of the show. Uh, you're on the airline, too. The board my poop, too. I'm you know, the fact of the matter is, and you guys need lives. No one knows the old time of the show. You need mental help. I have your numbers. I'll call you up after the show, and I'll make sure you get a good psychiatrist. Yeah. You want me, really? I will do this. Now, I'm not going to jeopardize my show by giving your numbers out on the air. But what I do, will do, is I will make sure that you get yours. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. Oh, come on. The same two people. Get off my show. You're on the air. You're on the air. Ring ones are tickling my Okay, I got your number. You want me to read it out? It's 646. You want me to go further? These people probably aren't even watch. Oh, they are watching the show because I can hear the stupid feedback. So, anyways, let's get back to uh, the Yankees. Let's try. You're on the air. Hello? You want to talk about Johnny Damon? Yes, what about him? Yeah, I heard Derek Jeter found worms in his... Fuck you! <laughs> you see, the thing is, you play nice with me. You know? If you don't want to call... You know, there, there's a... Computer programmers have always had this expression, and it's very accurate. It's called garbage in, garbage out. I can't have a good show without having good callers. <laughs> and what I have are bad calls. Actually, I have no callers. <laughs> no more calls. Get the hint. No more calls. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now that the Yankees are out of it and, you know, the season's <laughs> over, he now changed the name of his show to Talking. To, uh, let's talk about Xbox. Oh. <laughs> and then they call up, and now all they'll talk about is the Yankees. And it drives them nuts. Because the topic isn't the Yankees anymore. Right. Good afternoon, everybody. This is Jonah Falcon, and you're on Talking Xbox. That's right. <laughs> the Yankee season is over, and now we're going to talk about the Xbox 360. I want to hear what you guys have to think about Bioshock or Halo 3 or, you know, stuff like that. You're on the air. Hello? What do you think about Joe Torrey? <laughs> so, you know, um... I'm not accepting calls from Sirius Radio, obviously. Oh, God, I need some real callers. Come on. I need good callers. I also need a co-host, and that's the other thing. If you think you want, can be a co-host, if you're free from 4 to 5, although <laughs> hopefully my, my schedule will be changing. I hope, I hope, I hope. Let's try a caller, although I have no faith in it. You're on the air. Hey, fucking faggot. You're a fuck. Okay. Um, oh, where are the callers from last week? I had better callers last week, and I'm taping over that show. Jesus. Um, you're on the air. You're on the air. You think they're going to pick up Manny Ramirez next year? <laughs> Wrong show. You're on the air. Wrong show. You're on the air. Hello? Oh, God. I, I, uh, I actually have a phone in, but you know what? That the call that's trying to get in is on my shit list, so it's not going ah, on. I love um, your shit list. Uh, you're on the. <laughs> <laughs> no, I guess not. <laughs> my God, there's so many bull bullshit callers trying to get on. Unbelievable. This is the very, very lowest rung in the world of celebrity. Well, I have someone named Jim McClure trying to call. <laughs> uh, oh, Jesus. I wonder if it's the same as the player. You're Calm on down, you fucking. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I decided to bring in um, late teenage, 19-year-old uh, young women who have started their own organization called Pink Positive New York. We definitely sacrificed a lot, and the outcome is wonderful because... Hello, Russell? We... Excuse me, yes. Hi, how are you doing tonight? Okay. 
I wanted to just say it's great what these two uh, young African-American ladies are doing. And, the, you know, this takes me back to something my grandfather used to say. It doesn't really matter what color you are, black, white, Indian, Hispanic. It's all pink on the inside. Okay. <laughs> what? Or tell me about why you chose domestic violence uh, against women as a subject. It's used to establish power and control over a person through fear and intimidation. Hello. Hello. Hello, Russell. How are you? Okay. This is Jermaine Washington calling from the Bronx. Okay. Hi, Mr. Hello, Washington. Jermaine. Hello. I want to wish a happy Kwanzaa to my Nubian sisters. <laughs> okay. You. I think you're doing a good job. I want to talk a little bit about domestic violence in conjunction to uh, the hip-hop community. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hip-hop can have an, a, a positive effect. I'll give you an example. I've been... Ooh, hey, what's that? Okay, it's just our volume. Go ahead. Ooh, you almost blew up my eardrums there. Okay. So anyway, uh, I've been married now 15 years. and uh, Congratulations. <laughs> what's that supposed to mean? It means it's a long time. It's good. Okay. Well, I like, you know, this is a serious topic, Russell, if I may. I know. Okay, uh, this is not a joking matter. So just getting back to what I was talking about, how hip-hop can have a positive effect. Uh, I remember one day specifically, it was about 10 years ago, I was playing my uh, Grandmaster Flash records, and my wife told me to turn it down, and I bashed that radio right over her fucking head. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's real mongrels out there who... <laughs> I'm not going to change any time in the near future. Uh, no, people just... don't change. Men don't change a lot. Hi. Hi. Hi, good evening. I think what these young girls are doing is great. It's great for the young people and the youth of today. And uh, You know, the youth of, uh, in America today is very young and young people is what's important to the youth of America. You know, being young, I was a young girl once in, in my youth, and my youth, I, and when I was young, I was in my youth. The youth is affecting young girls, and the young people in the youth is, uh, you okay. know. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I love that Go guy. Ahead. Do you want to finish? I um, think that it's very important because, again, we were using women. Hi. Excuse me. Hello? Hi. I have Hi. a question for the girls from Pink Positive. Yes. Do you find Russell attractive at all? Why not? <laughs> Would you, uh, do you like his beard? Why you, uh, do you have a question for us? No? Okay. Excellent. Do you get some strange people calling <laughs> you? Um, uh, caller, your name? Hi, my name's Rusty. Hi. Russell. Do you have a... Yes. Could you run your fingers through your beard? I have a race. Good night. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so we were talking Hello? about... Oh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Russell, you been getting any pussy, you fucking pain Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. You know, I think we got to cut off the men's calls and just let the women call them because the men really are perverse. I have to say that, you know. <laughs> so you, you guys got something really exciting for the next, your next event. Yeah, we we're really encouraging anyone that wants to be involved. We've gone to black phone call. Yes, caller. Russell, can you lick your lips? I got a bone. Oh come uh, on! <laughs> <laughs> somebody is somebody screaming these calls to me. No, obviously not. Hey, I wanted to play this for you. Sal and Richard called this guy. He um. What is this show about? It's one of those public access shows again. Oh, uh, yes. They, and they discuss, People pay to be on TV. Yeah. They discuss family. Uh, Gary, what is it they discuss? Richard, what do they discuss on this show? Just, uh, it's like he has these high school kids on, and they talk about relationships. It's just hmm. like, it's nonsense. Oh. So, so Richard and Sal played this game where they call into this guy, yeah. and they try to see, like, they just drag out every story, and they see how long they can <laughs> stay on. Okay. This is that guy that already loves that old guy. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. And like, it, so Richard said, if I just drag out the story, how long will they let me drag this out for? And then I think Sal calls in, right? Yeah. I didn't even get to that part yet. Yeah.
All right. What's the co- it's called Respect Show? Respect is the name of the show, yeah. And it's about respecting Yeah, respecting friends and high schoolers <laughs> and stuff. Who right. is uh, where are these shows? <laughs> I don't know. Richard seems to be the only one who yeah. can find these shows. Well, every day, like, you know, when I go home at night, I just uh, I'm just cruising through the public access <laughs> channels. There's four of them. Uh, so every 30 minutes I check them. I wonder if I have these channels. I never seem to. Really? Go I'm like, know? nobody else uh-huh. comes in talking about them. But Richard, if they're if you have Time Warner, they're on Time mm-hmm. Warner. Yeah. There's a lot of peer pressure during adolescence. Mm. I agree. I think in middle school and in high school, you want to be accepted by, you know, you want to Hello? be... Hello? Excuse me. Hello? Uh, how are you tonight? It doesn't sound... Uh, I think we're okay. Do you have a Hi. question for the panelists? Yes, I do. I recently had some family problems. I had a very tight-knit family all my life. I'm 43 years old, and we never really had any problems until... Until? Yeah, the topic is independence. Yeah, independence. Well, that has to do with my family, because my daughter, Mm -hmm. me and my wife, daughter it's her daughter from another marriage is okay very independent and our family has always been very functional and tight-knit mm-hmm. even with our relatives and but i had a cousin come down to visit about two <laughs> weeks ago from syracuse <laughs> and everything was fine for about two days but my daughter's boyfriend, who's from Denver, flew in from Denver, <laughs> and he stayed with us. And after about two days of him from Denver and my cousin from Syracuse staying under the same house, oh, things started to get a little tense. Were people fighting? Between our family and and then it got more aggravated because my wife's uncle from Orlando, who we had... Okay, that's the whole thing. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I, I need a scorecard to be able to trade off. Okay, so you have three teenagers <laughs> yes. in the house yeah. at one time. Three on. Yeah. Three on. Um, so so little, oh, I'm sorry, I don't have a scorecard, but, but let us continue on. Are there any other callers? No, what? You, it, so there was a lot of chaos, right? Yeah. <laughs> individually clashing right. personality. Well, like you've got yeah, three yeah, yeah. teenagers. It's important to have a family that's close. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yes. uh, hi, how are you? Hi. hi. You know, uh, I just want to say it's great to have a show right now around the holidays to discuss family. Family is so important. Sure. And I feel like nobody really focuses on family anymore. And it's it's really nice to hear and see you people tonight talk about family. I'm looking forward to Thanksgiving. Uh, my parents are originally from Italy, mm-hmm. and uh, my mother is from Naples, huh? <laughs> and uh, my father was uh, in a city called Palermo. I don't know if you're familiar with Palermo. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, that's where my father's from, that city, Palermo, and they're coming out, and my Uncle Paulie is uh, from a small town out uh, of the outskirts of Palermo, <laughs> Palermo called Santa Margarita. It's a small, small town where he grew up, mm-hmm. and outside of that, uh, my Uncle Joe, he comes from uh, Porta Pala, Italy. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, thanks. Uh, it's good to have a, a big family, but the question is not more about the family. It's more about the, the kids, because this is a uh, respect show. We're trying to see uh, how, how uh, the children... You think do. you feel Italian families allow for individuality? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Are you still on? I think it's not. Are you still on? No. I think they cut him off. Don't you know, that guy yeah. probably. <laughs> I have my ex, my ex outlaw, father-in-law, mm-hmm. from Palermo. So. Oh, okay. So, are young people like? Hello. Uh, yes. Yes. Then my uncle. Uh oh. Uh, okay. From Toledo. Are you? Um, huh? Um, I, I, is this going to be a real call question? Call what it's sober if you can. Just talk about independence, and uh, you know all these okay. Italy and Palermo. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a question about this issue we're raising? And that was that. Uh, uh, the voice of busting balls. Hey, you know, we that's a great one. Same voice, anything? Hi, my husband and I. How you doing tonight? <laughs>
I washed my cunt. All right, I got them all. Got them all. Good, okay. good. Awesome. Good. You're, you're close. He says cunt lips. Right. <laughs> right. Get them off. I'm enjoying your show. I saw the one young gentleman talking about hanging out with teachers and improving relations between teachers and students at school. Yeah. And I'm a teacher in the Bronx. That's cool. And I'm an I'm an art teacher, and so I try to bond with my students, and I try to do things like make candles, and we have a wood shop class that I also teach. And recently, my cat lips got caught in the belt sander. Uh oh! Drop it. Someone hang up. <laughs> Call. That's cute. Yeah, it's it's horrible, and I know. Well, we got another question. Sorry. Another caller? Hi, how are you tonight? Hello. Uh, first of all, I appreciate you taking the call. I've heard all those silly uh, phone calls that yeah. you was getting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I wanted to commend you, and uh, I'm a high school teacher myself. I'm a gym teacher. Sweet. Yeah. 17 years. And I've been through a lot, especially coaching the boys. Uh, we went through a lot of difficult times, and I remember at, at the end of that, whether we won or we lost, it didn't matter. But I remember specifically a loss. You always take a loss harder. Would you agree? Yes. Yeah. 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 And it's, uh, the only thing I can always leave with the students, and especially my boys, my football players, is we would huddle together and we would talk about overcoming and persevering, and then we would, you know, we'd get together, we'd eat, we'd get some pizza, we'd do some drinking, and then I jerked off on a few. Uh. Must be the same guy. All right. <laughs> you guys are Can't jerks. Say, you need to scream them so much, and that, that's it. I know. This is not a joke. Just people. a little seriousness, please. <laughs> at least somebody's listening, right? <laughs> guy looking at the positive. It must be the same guy. Yeah. yeah. Beaten down. At least somebody's listening. Yeah, because they're the only two guys that even watch these shows. Sal and Richard. Must be the same guy who said cunt lips, right? Yeah. Probably the same guy. They've called into that.